So today we're gonna focus on a few different things here on Varanga Savannah multiplayer, and those are gonna be lions, specifically to look for another rare female lion, Gimsbuck because we don't have a male time Gimsbuck in the lodge and I really want to get one eventually, and Cape Buffalo because it doesn't matter how many diamonds we get, I still love the look of the Bighorns diamonds and if they're active, we're gonna be looking for them, so that kind of gives us a lot of the day to basically hunt whatever is gonna be active, and I'm hoping as we do that, we can maybe run into some of the other stuff on the map as well. Well, I guess this guy is making the decision for us. I wasn't sure if we're going to try to take anything out here or not, because we're right at the end of Cape Buffalo drink time. I don't even know if that first shot hit him. I thought it would have, but anyway. I wanted to come up here and just give them a minute, and I figured if there was anything good we could take it, and then we'll go down south and potentially look for that one feed zone up on the hill and we can go for lions after that, but since that guy was charging us, we might as well also go for... where did all of those just come from? There was the level 7 over here that I wanted to get, but I don't know if they all just walked out of the brush. There's a lot of weird stuff with animals to get into their zones now, so I don't know if they just spawn there or what, but still seems like this is the best one. So we'll try to get him. I think it's best to get the shot in when his head's up. And that one at least should make gold. So maybe now that these ones were just kind of leaving their zone on their own, we'll go and get our seven and then head down to the other area in the southeast. So a 131.5 for our level seven there. And I think that run all the way over here could only be a good thing. It just gives them more time to wrap up their zones in the south and then get to that feed zone. But I'm a little bit... Uh, interested to know what is going on over here, but since there's all kinds of knocked out and stuff in the chat, I figured we'd just kind of take a quick look at that before we fast travel. Well, I think this really is the best case scenario because we have the Cape Buffalo and the Warthogs up here feeding, but the best I see to go for is that level 4 right there, and that's going to be about a 380 meter shot, so... We'll sort of see what the 30 out 6 can do for that. I don't know exactly where to aim, but I'm going to guess pretty high. Did we just... Okay, I don't know if it was the right one for certain, but we dropped a Warthog out there, so... Maybe we did what we tried to do. I think that one Cape Buffalo was coming to charge us, by the way. She's pretty persistent with it as well. Don't think there's a whole lot of avoiding it, but... We'll get her out of the way so we don't get taken down looking at this. Is this even the right one? It was. We got Spinal Cord, which I'm guessing is the main reason it dropped. I don't know if Double Lung from the 30 out sticks would be enough. And I can't remember the shot we made. We shot one with the 6.5 at about that range, and I know it ran some. I feel like we hit, like, Lung, Liver, Stomach or something, so... That spinal cord might have been necessary to insta-drop it, but that's not really a shot that I thought we would make that easily. I don't know why I've never checked this lake this way before. Like, I always run all the way around the west side and then see those lines when I get somewhere over in here. But just from here, we can see them about 400 meters away. And just for fun, since we made one long shot, I want to try another one. Of the two, the one on the right has the better estimate. Try to aim similarly high. He's dropping, so we got him in the lungs. I can't say for certain that I've ever shot any lion at like 400 meters or further. So that could kind of be a random first, just as we're finding a new way to potentially be hunting this lake. So I guess the question kind of becomes, was that actually 400 meters? And it was 411. We actually hit pretty well, and it was still a silver. So I don't know if the other one was actually better. But I thought we might have been kind of low there. But that's pretty well center of the lungs, kind of right in the crease of the shoulder. Or maybe straight through the shoulder at the angle we actually shot, but still, not too bad. A couple of pretty long shots today working out. So maybe we can actually line this up again. I want to take a better look at that, just because in that lighting, that almost looked like it might be a blonde line. I don't think it is. But... If we can get back to over 400 again, I feel pretty confident about where to aim. It was just like a little bit above the top of the back of the other one. 
So let's actually use the map, and we may need to use the fact that we can spot them back up. We're still like 390 and kind of in the grass. Maybe we can manage that? I don't know. It's going to be a matter of being able to keep them spotted, mostly, because we're going to be shooting at an outline, I think. It's not really much getting around that, unless we can still see him from over here. I really don't see a good option for doing this beyond, like, getting him spotted and then backing up and trying to take the shot, so... Let's try to make sure we can spot him with the gun. We can from there. And then we'll take a few steps back. And really, our options were about that. And I tried to mark where he was. Our waypoint said over 400 meters, but it may have been off a little. I just don't think we actually were going to get the shot off. But that was part of the reason I even wanted to take that shot. So we're down here at the, uh, the one zone that really doesn't show up on a lake for lions. And a lot of times, you might only see one immediately, but there's a lot around, and especially for the fact that we're actually more hunting for a rare female than any kind of high-scoring male, it's kind of a good thing to make sure we eat down here and see everything. So first of all, that's definitely a common, but how far was our shot there? It was 395, so I mean, we still did okay, but... Would have been cool to get a gold line from 400 meters plus. And if we ever get the chance, I don't think the shot's hard because they're such a big animal. It's not too difficult to line up a 400 meter shot if you can see far enough to get it. So maybe some kind of diamond line from 400 meters could be a thing at some point in the future, but just want to make sure. Ooh, that is a max weight estimate track. I think we better go and see what this is. When it actually is a level 9, it's trotting right back at us. So there's a K-Buffalo chasing us. And I'm kind of tempted to try that. I feel like... I saw the health dropping, so we're good. But keeping the shot that low, a 300 round as a flesh hit doesn't actually kill a lion. It would actually survive and we could go and get a second shot, so... Keeping it kind of low, I feel like, was a safe decision. Now, there's already been a Diamond Lion harvest in this server, so I'm not exactly optimistic that this guy is going to make it. It just feels like odds are he would be a troll. But either way, that estimate said up to like 48 or something, so he wasn't going to be a huge one no matter what. But we'll cross our fingers here. It would be nice to get some kind of diamond as we're just running around here. And actually, he has a diamond right on 48.5. Quite honestly, these things troll me so often. I didn't expect that, and I've only just started going to that zone that we went to from a Twitch stream like a week or so back. Some of you guys in the chat helped me to actually find that spot, and for the first time, it's paid off with a diamond. It must just depend on the server, because sometimes this zone is absolutely ridiculous for Cape Buffalo, but that's the second time I'm seeing that. I thought there was something a little different up there, and I don't think that's a tree or anything. I'm pretty sure it even just moved, so I think there's a rare Cape Buffalo up there. Knowing how big it is or what level it is is pretty much impossible from here, and I mean, the only thing I can think to do is maybe try the 22 strat just to get everything to move around. There definitely is one back there. Let's just... Kind of hit the top of the hill. I think that might have alerted... Well, maybe it didn't even alert them. Seem a little higher. Actually stay away from the... Potential rare one as well. I mean, they're not even... Reacting, so... I think we're just gonna run up there. If it charges us, all the better. If it doesn't... I mean, we know we're looking for some kind of... Non-common fur type. So again... It is a leucistic female, so if I'm remembering everything correctly, we've had two albino males, and then this will be the third leucistic female. It's interesting they've just kind of been distributed that way, but this also gives us the opportunity to make sure that we didn't miss out on any level 9s, which I don't see any. Now, the question is going to be, can we get a shot in there? Because they're all kind of running around every now and then giving us opportunities, but... I don't want to mess up what would be, I guess, a bronze. It's not that it matters that much, 
But if we could get the shot in there and actually get a lung hit, that would be ideal. She is determined to make it as difficult as possible to get a shot in there. I think that at the very least is going to be single lung. And she is starting to drop, so we should be good. I always wondered. Like, I was unaware of that feed zone for a long time. And I really do think something happened with the Tay Awaroa update that sometimes has more Cape Buffalo up there than it used to. And it's kind of the same deal with that Gimsbuck drink zone down in the Fever Tree Forest. But I've wondered just how many times I went past there not knowing that spot existed and missed a rare Cape Buffalo. And ever since I've known about that spot, I figured at some point a rare would show up and finally we got our first one from there. And I actually quite like the Leucistic Fur type for the Cape Buffalo, so to end up with three, I think probably all level two females is a little bit unfortunate. She actually made silver, just barely. So that's kind of nice. If there's ever a multi-mount for a female Cape Buffalo, we'll have that ready to go. I think this is our first female rare on the new scoring system. I actually don't even know that for certain, but definitely going to have that taxonomized just in case. Like I said, cool to run into regardless, but one of these days I'd love to get a gold male one to have on the wall as well. And I think on that note, we'll actually head back to the second trophy lodge to place our Cape Buffalo and our Lion. And it's actually been a while since we've gone to that lodge, so it'll be good to get in there again. So at least the placement for the Cape Buffalo was a pretty obvious choice, just right here in the entrance. And even if it is just a level 2 female, there's something about the Leucistic Cape Buffalo that I just really, really like. And like I said earlier, one day I really hope we can get a Leucistic Gold Male. Or the dream is a... Leucistic Bighorns Diamond. And initially when we saw that white up there, that's what I was hoping for, but level 2 will do for now. And just for the sake of displaying our diamond line from today, we took down a diamond dark red mountain line. We sort of had like a multi-mount thing going on with the chase and the albino pronghorn, but nothing super permanent in this trophy lodge anyway. And I think in the trophy manager he was 48.59, so not as close to being a troll as it would look like in the harvest screen, but anyway good to get in here into our Spring Creek Manor Lodge again, and good to get a couple of solid trophies out for Hunga. Nothing for the main lodge, but I definitely can't complain about a Diamond Lion, and like I said, I'm pretty sure our first uh, rare female Cape Buffalo on the new scoring system, and therefore our first Leucistic Cape Buffalo on the new scoring system, so that's cool to find, definitely, and uh, just seeing that, I like that in the entrance of our lodge, but anyway, that's gonna do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.